Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your October 1st to the 10th, 2019 reading for you. Now I want to apologize. I have a cold. I got it from my six-month-old nephew. And so this reading is going to be shorter than normal because, well, I do not feel very well. So I want to make sure that you still get your messages from Spirit. But things are going to be a little bit more condensed. So let's see now Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. What October 1st to the 10th, 2019 has in store for you? Sagittarius, October 1st to the 10th, 2019. 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 Sagittarius, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. That's where we're going to stop because that's where everything fell. At the heart of this reading is the Page of Swords, crowned by the Knight of Pentacles, the Sun card, the Magician, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Empress. That's lovely. Your fairy guidance. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Sagittarius, October 1st to 10th, 2019. These two. Strength and simplicity. I like that combination, strength and simplicity. Sagittarius, October 1st to the 10th, 2019. Sagittarius, October 1st to the 10th, 2019. Sagittarius, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aura and communication. So we're going to start with aura. And this says, a healthy aura keeps your energy in balance and harmony. So keeping your energy in balance and harmonized is really going to be absolutely beneficial for you during, from the 1st to the 10th. So during this time, you are going to find that you might be a little bit more sensitive to things or arise, meaning you might pick up on other people's energy really easily. And yeah, you might see their energy too. And you might feel a little bit drained. So know that doing an aura cleansing, especially before you go to bed at night, will just empower you and really help you know, build up that protective barrier between you and the outside world. The color that shines through here is green. That's healing and cleansing your heart chakra. And then we have communication. Effective communication builds a deep bond grounded in common trust and understanding. So make sure that you pay attention to your words during this time, right? Because your effective communication is going to build, build bridges and it's going to be able to move you forward to the place that you truly want to be. The color that shines through here is blue. That's healing and cleansing your throat chakra. Then we have strength. Strength is born from the will of the heart. So know that your heart's will is astoundingly strong, but also know here that your greatest strength is in your simplicity, is in the, the essence of you. And that's what I really saw when I put down these two cards from Spirit. And I thought that was just an absolutely beautiful message. And then we have simplicity. Simplifying your life will bring you a sense of clarity and renewal. Okay, Simplifying yourself will help you move forward to your truth, to where it is that you need to be. You have the Page of Swords. This is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. You might be having some difficulty with an air sign energy. But this is also you becoming a student of your mind and seeing that you're not in this cage anymore, that you are breaking free and that you are claiming your bounty and your truth of where it is that you want to be and how it is that you want to stand. You are coming to a cycle, a, com a completion of a cycle when it comes to your own mind and when it comes to the way that you see things. You are slowly and steadily moving forward in prosperity with the Knight of Pentacles. And with the Knight of Cups, you are embracing what you love 
and you are moving towards what it is that you love. The pentacles are earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The cups are a water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So know here that you might have an earth sign and a water sign energy helping you move forward, but you are also going to find strength within a pragmatic way of looking at things, but also within following your heart, listening to your soul. You have your armor on. You've been burnt before. You don't need to be again. Then we have the Knight of Swords, which is, again, an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. And then we have the Empress. This is a sense of reclaiming your throne, but also, especially since we had communication come through, knowing the power of your words, knowing the power of what you say and how you say it, going forth into the universe is going to very much either bring you to where it is that you want to be or trip things up a bit. So know here with the King of Swords, you are crowned by the Morgan. You've been through many battles. The Morgan in Welsh mythology is the goddess of war. So you've been through many battles, many upsets, and now you're cutting through doubts and fears. You have Hoodin and Moonin over your shoulders. You have thought and memory cutting you forward. And with the and with the Empress, you are you have a creativity to you, a prosperity to you, kind of this mirth earth mother energy that is going to be guiding you forward. You are reclaiming your throne. You are reclaiming your power after a time of feeling rather desolate. And you're going to see that your mind is your greatest tool. It, it, it really is going to be. During, during these 10 days, it is going to be your greatest tool, the greatest way that you move forward, and the greatest power of your truth. Okay? We have the Ace of Wands. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine in the universe, handing you a gift of prosperity, of new beginnings. And you are most definitely taking it because the next card is the magician with the wand in his hand. As above, so below. As you believe it, so it becomes. You stand before the altar of your existence and you are letting nothing and no one stop you. All right? You are claiming your power. You stand here with passion in your hands, with thought, prosperity, and spiritual guidance before you but also love. So as you claim your power, you do so with majesty. You also do so with mourning how long it has taken you, the road that you have been on, but also with purity of intention. As you do so, you will have doubts and fears of whether you can move forward the way that you want to, but you are embracing your majesty. You are reclaiming your throne. And as you do so, you're going to need to take time for yourself, time to heal, time to cleanse, time to steady these emotions, and that's going to be the best thing for you. Because then we have the star card. There is a sense here, not the star card, the sun card. There is a sense here that once you take time for you, once you take a time out, you're able to breathe, you're able to connect with your inner self. You have happiness, joy, and prosperity come over you. There is a sense of beauty within solitude during this time. But you move forward in your true power and in your true blessings. Know that people will take you by eyes, okay? when you have these blessings coming in and as you have these blessings coming in. But you need to move forward in love and in your joy, in your happiness, and in your prosperity. The subconscious message here is the Knight of Wands. This is definitely you. You are taking this gift, Sagittarius, of new beginnings. Again, most definitely. You are moving forward. This is a time of being a knight. This is a time of defending what it is that you want, a time of action, and a time of seeing your action pay off, your actions pay off, and rewards come to you. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.